We good? Yeah, we should be good. Literally, all we were talking about was how we were having technical difficulties <laughs> in the middle of having a technical difficulty. Uh, thanks, thanks, Reef Ton, for <laughs> letting me know. Well done, Reef. <laughs> Emergency mod powers Whoops. were in effect. See doodle. Welcome. To, so, to this week's Lego stream. Yeah, we're building this. We're building the Lego Stormtrooper. I know I already showed it to you, but you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> and Molly accidentally locked herself out of her YouTube account, so that's what she was dealing with. I'm back. Just to catch everybody up on where we were. I fist it. Me. But thank you, Reef Ton. You're always here when we need you. It's hot And in when here. the stream needs you. What? Hot. It's hot? All right, I'll turn the fan on. I even put... What? I even put what? shorts on, but this shirt is almost a long-sleeved shirt, so... Well, that was your own mistake. I'm hot. Help. How is everyone doing? I see all the no audio <laughs> stuff. I would have seen that sooner had I not had. locked myself out of my YouTube account. <laughs> yeah. Smash that like button, guys, says Gundam Explained. Thank you. Yes. I'm, re I'm ready to build some Lego. I was working hard on the tomorrow. I got it done like a 20 something minute video on every freaking uh, Easter egg I found in the squadrons game, which there are a lot. Let's see, uh, Elijah Neal, Rain Man, uh, Brian's Bricks, Ted Comet, uh, Fives, Harry, on the brain, Brady guy, Boomstick, Gundam explained. It was the one that said smash the like button. Thanks, Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Oh, I know uh, Ted already sent in a super chat. Oh. I should Did you? scroll up. I remember what it was. <laughs> that's why you weren't logged in when it oh, in the oh. chat when it came in. Yeah. So that's uh, I was like waiting for you to read it and you didn't see it. That's I didn't why. See it. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Ted. And I remember what the question was: uh, Who were your favorite characters in Squadrons? Uh, well, which, <laughs> I don't think Molly can answer. I haven't played the story yet, so I don't know. To TBA. I. If you look at my story review, I, TBA, TBA, TBD, TBD, to be announced or to be determined, determined, I guess is what you would be going for. Um, I think Carol, Teresa, Teresa, uh, Javes and Carol were the two that I think like make that story. They're kind of the emotional core of it. Um, I like, I think I like all of the side characters. Um, Havina Von Reg was always fun to talk to in that like, oh, you're terrifying kind of way. Um, Keo, I think I I liked what they had to say a lot on uh, that. I think they had the most kind of like thematic lines uh, delivered about. Well, I mean, the fact that they're force sensitive helps, but I think that they were good at kind of delivering some of the messaging of why we fly. That was. Uh, the theming around the marketing for the story before the game came out what makes the the new republic different from the empire um frisk was fun shin <laughs> shin i like i think i genuinely like them all uh ted said that, that he didn't like um keo or soul i agree with you on soul uh all she really wanted to talk about was the imperial senate and I was just not interested. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna play through the story. I'm, uh, maybe 
eventually, but uh, I, I right now I'm honestly more interested in streaming like spooky games for October. Halloween season is like my second favorite season of the year, so maybe sometime in. Uh, what if you stream squadrons and I just like jump in and scare you every once in a while? Nah, I don't <laughs> think that'll work. <laughs> Oh, and I didn't mention Gunny. I like Gunny a lot. And, like, I, I genuinely like all of the New Republic pilots. I really like the idea of Grace Sionar because she's, like, related to the family that creates TIE fighters, and she has defected from her own family to help destroy them. I like that as a, a setup. But, yeah, you should play some spooky games. I'm going to. Um, whenever... Worfjig decides to give us our PlayStation back. <laughs> but until then, I, I want to check out Phasmophobia. I've heard that's fun. Um, Dead by Daylight. Yeah. E easy, easy-ish spooky games. Uh, Red Tornado 98 thank you so much for the super chat. Do you want to buy some Death Sticks? <laughs> Uh, you don't want to sell me Death Sticks, Red Tornado 98. You want to go home and rethink your life. <laughs> I hope that was a test and that I just passed it. <laughs> if it wasn't, don't do Death Sticks. Uh, Harry, thank you for the super chat. Two things. I love Molly's shirt. Thank you. I'm it's a very cute shirt. sporting my Porg Halloween themed shirt. And the recent videos inspired me to buy squadrons. I hope you like it. <laughs> Welcome to the cult. I'm, I, yeah, I'm definitely like going hard on it, and uh, I'm very enthusiastic about it. I'm always relieved when someone is like, I, I bought it because of you, and I like it a lot. I hope that's the camp you're in. I would hate for someone to be like, I bought it because of you, and it's not my thing at <laughs> and all. I hate it. It's the worst. <laughs> no. It's fun. I'm just real bad at it. And I know I just need to practice more, but like I said, probably save that for next month. <laughs> That's, yeah, the only way to get... I, I will say Squadrons isn't doing new players any favors right now, and it's getting a patch tomorrow. So fingers crossed this is fixed. I hope it's number one on their priority sheet, but the fact that uh, matchmaking doesn't really work right... Like, I'm a level, I'm not bragging here, but I'm a level 44. That's, honestly, that's more of a, I think that's more of like a, you should be concerned for me. Is I've that because you got much. the game early, though? A little bit, but it's also because I, like, am not, I'll play it any chance I get. <laughs> that's true. He's been, how many hours have you clocked in that game so far? Over 60. Like, double double what I've done, probably, in Fallen Order, and in only a week. Well. A little over a week, but... Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but... I don't I think I've gonna... ever played that many hours of any video game put together. But what I'm trying to say is, I keep getting placed against, like, brand new players. And I... That's not fair. And I, I need to take Star Wars Explained off of my Steam name because then I feel terrible just ripping through <laughs> someone who's probably well, like, oh, it's my first multiplayer game. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Some people get excited to, to play with you, though, if they get matched up with yeah, you. Yeah, I know, but then I don't want to just eviscerate them in there. I don't want to make anyone feel bad on multiplayer, and that's kind of what the matchmaking system is doing. They need to fix that. Just let everyone win, then. That's absurd. <laughs> I can't believe you would suggest that. Uh, um, on the brain, thank you for the super chat. Disney is a fan of Phasmophobia, right? Since they barely showcased her in the movies at all. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Phasmophobia. You're afraid of phasma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wished phasma had a better storyline, but... That was one of the, like, the biggest 
bait and switches i feel like in the last jedi all the phasma content that they were putting out before it and i was like oh man she's gonna kick so much butt yeah and then she didn't and i I was like in the theater in my head screaming get up phasma like i want you to fail but i don't want you to go out like this yeah well honestly i love the book so much that 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 satisfies my love for Phasma, just the book alone. The book's great. The comic was really good. Like, it's just one of those things where I was reading too into something and being like, oh, they're putting out all this content probably because she's going to be a major part of the movie. And instead it was like, oh, no, they're putting out all this content because she's not a major part of the movie and they're trying to make up for it. <clears throat> <laughs> I think it worked. Red Tornado 98, thank you for another super chat. Says, I don't want to sell you death sticks. I want to go home and rethink my life. Oh, thank goodness. We can use the force. We saved another one. <laughs> over YouTube. That's that's what I just took away from this. Hit, I'm a Jedi. Hit that like button. <laughs> you will smash that like button. <laughs> uh uh, that feels like dark side. I, <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, Zachary Shivelli, Shivelli. Sh- 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 Simplify it. You're. I think you're uh, way overthinking this. Sh- Shively. Uh huh. Oh. You know I'm terrible with names. I know. But I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Zachary Shively, thank you so much for the super chat. Says, Frisk was great. His whole line about being missed and how that hit him hit me. Just one mm. little story gave so much to him. That's I I do wish that there were more interaction with your squad mates. Um and it, oh it says and then it says Dash Darth Mogar. I think I think that story could have benefited from a little more time with each of the squad mates. Fisk was fun, um, and if you haven't seen the video, I think it's on Reddit, and I saw Ian Fraser retweet it. But Sam Witwer was streaming the game, and Frisk is voiced by James Arnold Taylor, <laughs> and uh, Sam like listened to Frisk's voice for a second and was like, "Is that?" I think it is, and then went into the mall voice and was like, Kenobi, <laughs> you thought you could hide from me. <laughs> and, like, started to have a dialogue with Frisk. It was very fun. <laughs> oh, Nightbot is here. <laughs> What's up, Nightbot? <laughs> is it announcing itself? It says it's doing the Twitch link. Oh, okay. Thanks, Nightbot. I realized last week I had just, I accidentally shut off the Twitch Nightbot and not the YouTube Nightbot, so it hasn't gained sentience. I was just doing the wrong thing. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Rain Man says he assumes this is a pumpkin-y drink. It is not, actually. It's a Sam Adams Oktoberfest beer. That That's not pumpkin-y? Mm-mm. Oh. Oktoberfest beers don't mean they're pumpkin. Oh, I just thought they did. It's orange. It's got an orange label. <laughs> it's a traditional Marzen. I'm probably saying that wrong, but... I-, I thought all Oktoberfest beers were pumpkin-y. Did you really? Yes. And you've... Well... Well, you've say ch- it. What were you going to say? You're going to say something about how I've tasted them? I assume because of your lack of smell, you can't taste the pumpkin, even if it were Uh pumpkin-flavored. Well, that makes me feel a little better, because, like, every Oktoberfest I have, I'm like, I don't... I mean, I wouldn't taste the pumpkin anyway, but I'm like, (laughs) I definitely don't taste it here. Now, the dogfish beer that I got was pumpkin. I wonder, like... So the Pump King beer is like the most pumpkin-y beer I've ever had. So okay. maybe I'll get some of that and you can try it and I've see. I've had it. it. <laughs> Doesn't taste like pumpkin? Not, not that I recall. Uh, 
I could cook like literal cardboard and put enough spice on it. <laughs> yeah, put some hot sauce on it and be Ooh. like, try this. Delicious. <laughs> uh, Harry, thank you for another super chat. Alex, be like, sorry you're new, but I'm built different. <laughs> Is that a, a meme? I don't know. It sounds like one. I, I assume that's you to the the poor level 20s and under that you encounter on the game we lost to like a level eight squad last night so were they doing the thing no we just lost to them they outplayed us like the the rankings i wouldn't say mean that much it means you've played a lot more so oh. well also there's supposed to be literal fleet battle rankings and those aren't working at all right now I think that's what's supposed to place you because that takes into account your wins, your losses, and all that. Mm -hmm. And my rank isn't even updating, and I've seen that issue like on the subreddit. A lot of people are complaining about it. So, like all around, their their matchmaking system is just not working right now. Hmm. Well, they they did say that they were working on a patch, right? Yeah, it's going to be patched tomorrow. Okay. So, fingers crossed. Well, after tomorrow, no one's going to care about squadrons because the new Fall Guys <laughs> comes out. <laughs> I do want to play the new silly levels, but... I'm going to be streaming Fall Guys later tonight. Uh, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I will be playing squadrons with my friends <laughs> so we can uh, practice up for Operation Ace. Ted comment, thank you so much for a super chat. What was the name of the guy selling death sticks? The reason I don't like Keo is because he talks like the fortune cookies before each Clone Wars episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. They they certainly do. Um. That was <laughs> El uh, Elon Sleazebagano. Yep. Is the name of the death sticks guy. I don't know his real name, but I know he was in the Matrix. That is funny. Like, I can see, I can see, uh, I forget the exact line. It's like, hate that has become too strong to be healed. If if the only option left is to fight, then so be it. It's like, yeah, that I could see that being in the blue text at the start of a Clone Wars episode. Seeing some familiar names in here. Adi Galea, Sleep of Giants, Tristan Peterson. Is, is Sleep of Giants building anything with us today? Uh, I don't know. I'm just asking so they can respond. Oh. <laughs> I will keep an eye out and let you know. Oh, Zachary joined the Discord. Thanks, hey. thanks Zachary. Zach Zachary. 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 <laughs> I need to. It's very possible our mods in the Discord have already done this, but we should like make a a spot for voice chat so people can squat up and play. Is there not one? I guess there's there, one for Patreon supporters. Yeah, like, but we, we can make one just for squadding up like it can be a room of five i think you can limit that oh nice uh the mods got nightbot to follow star wars operation ace on twitch and twitter and to say nice. october 10th for the first ever competitive squadrons tournament Super exciting. Sleep of Giant says, uh, not building, unfortunately, no money to spare. Oh. That's fair. We Lego is an expensive hobby. Yeah. We uh, we bought all these a long time ago, so we've just kind of been working through our backlog. Ooh, uh, Canal Bloodaxe, I think is how you say this. Uh, <laughs> th 
Thank you for the super chat. Really enjoy your channel and views on Star Wars. Keep up the good work. Also, who would win in a fight to the death? Darth Vader versus 100 Baby Yodas. Oh, no. <laughs> 100 Baby Yodas uh, would win 100 times over. Thank you, Kanal. Um, I honestly, I mean, Baby Yodas can use the Force. If we're assuming they're all just like the Baby Yoda we all know and love, then... If they all collectively, if they all collectively choked Vader, uh -huh. yeah, he'd be space dust. I know, I'm I'm gonna refuse to say anything more than that because I don't want Molly to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> of what might happen. No one can hurt the child, <laughs> except apparently me. I can drop it. Well, he's fine. He's okay. This is a lot of extra pieces. I don't... <laughs> okay. Can do the over-under with like Ken Like Ken does. does, yeah. That's bag one. <clears throat> uh, do you know what time the tournament is? Uh, now it's like, there's two possible times. It's I, Boomstick said it was noon on Eastern, but Ryan thought he read that it was 1 Eastern, uh, and I can't remember what turned out to be true. Hilo, stop it! <laughs> Just put... So, I don't know. <laughs> the... The one thing about these sets and building them all kind of like in a row is you you have to build the stand every single time. So it's like, all right, there's the third stand that I'm building Ooh, no, again. No, 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 no. <laughs> he likes my beer. He's fine. I mean, you'll be fine. <laughs> Evo. Oh, man. Uh, Red Tornado 98, thank you for another super chat. Did y'all see the new Bill and Ted movie? We did not. Have not yet. Um, I do want to watch it. Is it on demand? Yes. Hmm. Well, then we have and, no and I've reason heard that not it's, to. Yeah, I've heard it's good. Um, I kind of like, it's been so long since I've seen the other two. I used to really love both of them. Like, I saw Excellent Adventure a few times, and then I remember watching Bogus Journey and being like, this is great. <laughs> I love when they play <laughs> board games against death. <laughs> uh, so, and I, I keep hearing that people are like, man, this is a really just feel good, uplifting kind of fun movie. It's a, sounds like a good quarantine movie. Hmm. I don't remember much about those movies, actually. That's why I'm like, I kind of want to watch all of them just to get a little refresher. Hmm. Hi, Hilo. My turn. Ow. You're gonna eat the pieces. <laughs> I know, we were playing a lot of fetch before this, and I'm hoping that you're gonna decide you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> you're a big old goofball, and I love you. Aww. Uh, oh, Elijah Neal, thank you for the super chat. I think you know what I'm going to ask, uh -huh. but just in case, do you know the names of the Hut Council members? Also, I recommend the Finnis and Verb Star Wars on Disney+. Plus. I think you'll like it. Yeah, we still need to watch that. I had someone on Patreon explain to me that it, you don't need to know anything about Phineas and Ferb. Like, it is just a Star Wars special, so we should be able to go into it blind. So we should watch that and report back next week. Um, Jabba, Gorga, Aro, Orbo and oh uh, marlo that's too many o's <laughs> marlo. too many of those end in o is... I... java so, gorgo someone put the answer to that question in the chat uh, marlo... so that i can write it down and keep it with is it, me our rock iraq yeah that sounds right and Iraq. Then orbo yeah, there, I don't want to say there's too many O's in there. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Again, this is it's a good question because it's just like the last one. Every time you're like, 
Okay, I think I have it. Uh, that's genuinely Elijah when that got asked on uh, <laughs> Dragon Con trivia. Like, that's one of my favorite trivia moments. Just to know that you hammered that into my brain and that I got to use it uh, filled me with joy and fear that I would mess it up. But since I got it right, joy. All right, it's Aroch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my autocorrect is going to hate oh. this. Star Wars, or uh, phones hate Star Wars names. Iraq Gorga. Uh huh. Ar Aruba? Oh, dang. Missed that one. Marlo and Jabba. Is that it? I think so. I think there are five. <laughs> Said your your answers were extremely close. I'm getting there. I think I think this will be faster than it uh, took me to get the Knights of Ren. <clears throat> All right, now I have it in my phone, so we'll know next time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elijah. Um, Steven Smith, thanks for the super chat. Theory, Moff Gideon wants the child so he can use him as a Skywalker to look for Thrawn and the Unknown Regions to help rebuild the Empire. I think that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to see Thrawn in Mandalorian. I'm we, just going to say that. We need to figure out like a way to hit a button on the stream deck and then it tracks our faces and puts the tinfoil hat on oh, that'd be fun i um, love that yeah that seems like too much but i i would have said the same thing about ahsoka showing up and that hasn't happened yet still just a rumor but if it happens i will i will be like okay easily proven wrong there so i i mean i'm the same i don't really want thrawn to be involved in the mandalorian uh, I want them to just keep this story apart, but with Dave Filoni involved, who knows? <laughs> um, I don't know that. I don't know that Gideon would know about skywalking. I don't know how he would. I think he probably has a more simple reason for wanting the child. Also, like this, this story is coming from Favreau, and while Filoni is giving input. I don't think Favreau is going to like go overboard with uh, too much connectivity. If mm -hmm. I had to guess, like I think, I think he came up with the reason that Gideon wants the child, and it probably doesn't have anything to do. Like, if you watch the behind the scenes stuff, and uh, there was something he called something a deep cut, uh, and. I remember, Favreau like, did? Favreau, yeah. They were they were talking about... What was it? It might have been Wilro Hood's, like, the Cam to Know. Mm. Where I feel like it, anyone who lives and breathes Star Wars, anyone that is subscribed to this channel, I would guess, would be like, everyone knows what that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. It was IG-11. That's what it was. Oh. They, they, I think that's what it was. I'd have to rewatch it. Because I just remember it being like, this is a very, like, he's a background character, sure, in the movies, but we all know who IG-11 is, or AG-88. <laughs> Weird. And I'm like, I'm not judging Favreau for that, but it's like, that's just the disparity between, like, a hardcore Star Wars fan and uh, someone like Jon Favreau, who loves the universe, obviously, and uh, writes for it very well, but... I don't think he's in the weeds the same way that most of us are. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's looking for ways to pull Thrawn into the universe. I don't think he knows what Thrawn is. And that's also kind of my, like, when we think about, is that planet Ilum? I'm like, it's probably more likely just an ice world because I don't know that Jon Favreau knows what Ilum is, but that's why Dave Filoni's there. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I still think if there's going to be the rumored sequel series for Rebels, I think that's where they're going to save the story for yeah. Thrawn and Ezra. But that's just me. Uh, Kylie Petrano, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, oh, Hilo's inner voice. But dad, I just want to help the stormtrooper look dangerous. And mom, can I get some of the drink? I'm thirsty. Let's go back to playing. <laughs> yeah, it's close. <laughs> except I think he more likely wants to eat the pieces. Yeah. I don't. I think he's just like, oh, snacks. <laughs> snacks on snacks he's on still, snacks. He's still basically a puppy. And so he, like, he just wants to explore the world. And he does that by eating things. Oh, the Brick Dude Studio says that they're building Batu slash Galaxy's Edge Ooh, in Lego. That's dope. That's really cool. Send us a picture of that when when you get done, because that I bet that's gonna look awesome. Uh, Kunks. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're they're from the Twitch stream, and I. Uh, mentioned last night or yesterday that it, it feels like a kind of a dangerous name to say it feels like an insult yeah kunks kunks uh 990 thank you for the super chat here's some money for the button that is attached to tinfoil hats the <laughs> drop down on fishing lines when you need to answer tinfoil <laughs> questions <laughs> it's a good idea make it happen Just somehow like a little pulley system <laughs> The fan would be blowing it everywhere. <laughs> it would come down and we'd have to kind of like... Yeah, get under it. Catch it with our heads. Oh, love It's like it. a thing we can only do once a stream. But <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm yawning. I need another Red Bull. I feel like my body got used to drinking those monster energy drinks and I got a case of Red Bulls and I guess I'll have to drink two of those to equal the what the monster ha drinks have in them. That sure is a colorful stormtrooper mask. Yeah, they always start this way. You know that. <laughs> oh, I see stickers. They're coming. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Oh, I think I said when I tweeted out the link for this that we would talk about Halloween. Since I've got my Halloween themed shirt on. Okay. We like Halloween. <laughs> I love Halloween. We were discussing how trick or treating is going to work this year with COVID and everything. So, <clears throat> if kids even bother to go trick-or-treating and if their parents e even allow them to we were thinking that because we've got some bushes out in our front yard and i was thinking we would take a couple of pieces of candy put them in a zip a couple of ziploc bags and like pin them to the bushes and like put up a little sign that says like take a bag Maybe I think that's a sanitary. I, I would miss the trick or treaters, but yeah, it's probably the safer way to go. Put some hand sanitizer out there, <laughs> or some. That's what we'll give away instead of <laughs> little bottles of hand sani. Honestly, it's not a bad idea. Okay, phone, calm down. You down there? <clears throat> yeah, we got a decent amount of trick or treaters last year. I feel like. Well, it's the first time we've lived in a neighborhood that was, I don't know, good for it. Yeah. It has a true. sidewalk and not a lot of traffic. Yeah. And then I don't really know what our plans for, like, of course, the year of the pandemic, Halloween is on a Saturday night. Right. So that's unfortunate. Um, but today we purchased a few things on the interweb to put together what i think is going to be a pretty 
pretty impressive couple's costume. Should we? Do you want to announce it? Not announce no. It. No. Okay. It's it's Star I, Wars related. I've I'll already, say that. Well, I've already teased. I feel like it. that's obvious. I've already teased it a little bit, but no, I don't want to say anything about it till we get closer to Halloween. Okay. Maybe I'll put out some hints, but yeah, right. it's not Biggs and uh, another pilot. I'll say that because someone was asking if a mustache was involved. <laughs> Uh, it's not. Oh, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> but yeah, we love Halloween, and we'll probably still watch a bunch of spooky movies and get candy and pretend like everything's normal. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween candy? Reese's. Easy. I think mine is the white chocolate um, Hershey bars that have like the little Oreo crisps in them. That feels like a very niche answer. Like, uh, look how special I am. So unique. <laughs> if I, yeah, if I buy- What's your favorite like normal candy bar? Mm, I don't know. Kit Kat? That's a good answer. I like Kit Kat. But like, ha Halloween is almost the only time you can find those little white chocolate ones. That's, that's fair. Why, that's fair. That's why I say that. <laughs> I'm just giving you crap. The, for some reason, the white chocolate just tastes even sweeter than milk chocolate. Maybe there's some science behind that, but... <clears throat> um, on the brick, thank you for the super chat. What would be cooler, minifig scale Zeta class shuttle or minifig scale sand crawler? Both Ooh. custom, of course, or any other vehicle you'd like to see. Um, the sand crawler got me excited first. It's probably bigger though. Are they the same size? I think the sand crawler might be bigger. Um, that that's what jumped out to me first yeah i think i would like the sand crawler and then like maybe some little tiny some jawas jawas they have to have many figs of jawas even cooler if it have they done a sand crawler set that feels like something they should do if they haven't but like one that opened up and had little moving conveyor belts and droid parts and stuff i always liked the the sets growing up that had moving stuff inside yeah that's i've talked about the aqua zone set a few times that i got for christmas and like built it at my grandparents house in ohio and then we had to take it all apart and come back down here and i put it back together but it had like this built it twice yeah and it had like this conveyor belt that would like put crystals on it and you could move them around and it was very neat <laughs> nerd yep <laughs> uh, ted comment thanks for the super chat warning if you give out only hand sanitizer you'll forget there was a toilet paper shortage this year <laughs> <laughs> okay so each bag has a little thing of hand sanitizer and some some uh, toilet wipes because you can't fit a roll of toilet paper in a <laughs> plastic bag. <clears throat> sure, that would make children furious. <laughs> what? Why? You want hand sanitizer in your Halloween bag? I mean, like, in, in on top of candy. Oh, okay. You get all of it. Okay. Then fine. It'd be like the house that hands out raisins and rulers. <laughs> raisins and rulers and toothbrushes. Uh-huh. Buzzkill. <laughs> Red Tornado 98 with another super chat. Molly should play Five Nights at Freddy's on her That's, stream. I, yeah. Is that hard? I don't think so. The mechanics are pretty simple. It's like a 
I think we talked about this last week. I just I I vaguely know of it. I've seen pictures of like the characters, but I don't know how the gameplay works. Mechanically, I don't think it's that hard. Like you are sitting in a room and you're trying to stop like Chuck E. Cheese characters <laughs> that come to life from murdering you. Uh, but you do that by looking at security cameras and locking doors and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're basically just sitting there looking at a security feed, switching between cameras and... That, I mean, that there's aspects of that with Phasmophobia. Although, I've only watched someone stream it that game once or twice, and I didn't see anything spooky happen. Maybe I just... Maybe they were just really good at the game, I don't know. Um, I will look into that because I know that's an older game, so it's probably not expensive. I really. Oh, hey, it's my first big mess up of the night. Uh right. oh. First of many. You hush. I wonder if people are ever in the chat like, you're doing that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope you'd call call that out if you messed up. <laughs> Carly with another super chat. Thanks so much. Uh, so can we get you both doing impressions of one another playing a video game? LOL, Molly, don't hate me. <laughs> just just look of concern the whole time. <laughs> I, I don't want to blow the mic out, but like, there's a lot of like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that happened one time. <laughs> it's very funny, but also use that. Mo Molly's first emote on Twitch was a bleeding ear. No, like a hurt ear, mm -hmm. uh, which is appropriate. Uh, I. I don't know all the jargon that you say, but there's just a lot of yelling involved. And I don't know. All I can think of is what Mark says. Let's, kick the tires and light the, the fires. Kick the tires and light the fires, baby. Big daddy. Oh, ba big daddy. <laughs> baby, we do say, we do go, <laughs> baby. Baby. Let's go, baby. I know one night you were playing Squadrons and you were a couple of years in and you were like hiding and shooting and you're like, gonna get you, gonna get you, touch you. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> no. I should do another uh, don't drink and fly <laughs> stream. <laughs> that, that was like the first night that we were able to stream it and that was fun oh I woke up the beast I'm Hilo and I'm back I'm gonna oh, eat your Legos just, just lay down Oleoscar2000, thanks so much for the super chat. What's the spookiest Star Wars story? Mm. Well, the the Dark Legends book, were there any good spooky ones I in mean, there? I mean, those are for kids. Like, So are tricks. <laughs> and I do like tricks. <laughs> um, there, there were some in there that were like a little spooky, but... I don't, Death Troopers comes to mind, but even then, I, I had my issues with that book because, like, halfway through, something happens where you're like, oh, well, this is all going to be fine. <laughs> I don't. The book's been out for, like, a decade, so I should. I'm, I'm going to drop a little spoiler about Death Troopers if you haven't read it in the past 15 years or so. <laughs> uh, but, like, Han and Chewie show up halfway through the book, and it takes place like a year before a new hope and you're like oh well they're gonna survive and like all the tension falls out of this are there no other characters there are but like that get attacked plenty of people it's the zombie star wars yeah story and it's like 
yeah, people get attacked and die and are killed by Star Wars zombies, but, like, I don't know, having familiar characters... Show, this is why I'm always, like, let's separate it, let's keep... It's okay for a Star Wars story to not have the big characters in it Mm -hmm. because the second they show up you're like okay well now like a big focus of this book is on them and you know they're fine Hmm. the spookiest star wars story to me is the the end of rogue one with vader that's the closest we'll ever get to like a horror slasher star wars film moment um, the Tales from Vader's Castle, again, they're for kids, they're comics, but uh, there was one last year that they did that I really liked. It, it was, I forget what it was called. It was like uh, Tarkin made some monster that was trying to be human, or not human, but like a person. Mm-hmm. It, it was very good, but it wasn't that spooky. Like, I don't know, I'm having a hard time thinking of spooky star wars that will actually like chill you to the bone (laughs) um paul c has a super chat thanks paul c do you think force ghost anakin would have appeared to ahsoka and what do you think that conversation would have gone like if so also love you guys thank you thanks paul um honestly i've thought about this and and I think it would be cool if this happened, but we would have seen it by now. I feel like if if that were going to happen, uh, I don't think so. I think honestly, like I think there's room for it to happen uh, in a few years. In what three more years from a certain point of view, Return of the Jedi, like. I think that would be a good time to do it. We don't know where Ahsoka was at that point in time, but Anakin has like... Like at the end? Yeah. Anakin's become a Force ghost. Hmm. He's checked in on Luke. Or who knows, like maybe Force ghosts can be in multiple places at once. We don't know. But I think it would be nice if he said hey to Ahsoka. What if it were Sebastian Shaw and Ahsoka's like, who are you? Yeah, who are you though? (laughs) That's where Sebastian Shaw went. <laughs> oh, what a classic mix and, up. But, like, that would be such a weird thing to do because Luke saw Sebastian Shaw. <laughs> so he would he should be like, who are you? Mm-hmm. To Anakin when he shows up. Mm-hmm. That's funny. On the brick, thanks for oh, another... Oh, but, but how do we think it would go? Oh, would wait. We... Oh, the conversation? Uh-huh. I think it would go well. I think Ahsoka would be the forgiving type. I think it would be a short conversation i think it would just be uh, like a little bit of closure for both of them he could yep. be like sorry i'm trying to th- he'd be like sorry for trying to kill you on malachor and she'd be like same same bye bye <laughs> i don't know see you tomorrow yeah let's hang <laughs> let's have let's get brunch let's catch up <laughs> uh on the brick with another super chat thanks so much says by the way lego has double vip points starting tomorrow i don't do we get points for buying legos i think we got some when we we still have the lego nes set that i keep meaning to build on a twitch stream um but i haven't done that yet uh but yeah i think we have some vip points i don't know I don't know how if that works. If we end up buying that cantina set, we certainly will have some <laughs> points. Oh, uh, Cam Cam, thanks for the super chat. Pulled off my first drift in squadrons. Felt like the coolest person in the universe. Poe Dameron who? And then it's the emoji with sunglasses. Uh, You've taken your first step into a larger world. Congratulations. Drifting is the coolest thing in the world. That was the first thing I wanted to learn how to do, and I was like, I don't need to play the game. I just wanted to do that. 
<laughs> like now I'm at the point where I'm like, yeah, I can drift consistently. Uh, but when you do a drift like in between a tight area to like, escape someone, or I did the the whole like we were caught in a death loop and so I boosted out, drifted around, and then as he was turning around to shoot me, I shot him down. I was like, ah, I, so good. I would like to try it in VR with Hotas. I think that would be the ultimate yeah. satisfaction for drifting. Well, Molly, when she's playing with Hotus, uh, I think you remember when Poe in The Last Jedi is like hitting buttons and then he like really slams the stick so he drifts. You don't have to do that. I well, want to re- re- reiterate. There's a reason that those things have ways to, to screw them onto a tabletop. Uh-huh, because sure. they're, even when you were playing it, it's, wobbly yeah but you were like slamming the stick left and right (laughs) i want to do it like poe does it (laughs) i was like you don't have to do that i can't screw it into my desk (laughs) if i got one of those attachments for a chair that would be cool but then i would have to have them there all the time yeah Uh, Sark Banatute, that's a fun name. <laughs> Sark Banatute, thanks for the super chat. Uh, Star Weird are creepy AF. I don't think I've ever read those, heard of those. Star Weird? Star Weird? I don't know what that is. I'll look them up. If that's a, if that's a thing? I don't know. Is that a typo Go- or? Google it. I wanna. My <laughs> phone's down there. I'll do it. Everyone yells at me for building slowly, but. <laughs> A couple of people said Borgullet was scary. Ewok Hunt. Oh, Ewok Hunt's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It's not a story, but it is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, it's the Old Republic. That's why I. What is it? It's that. Ew. It's a creature. Is it called Star Weird? Species of incorporeal humanoids found only in space. Tall and gaunt, they possessed long, sharp talons, wild white hair, and glowing eyes. Yep, they look creepy. Hmm. Interesting. Got another super chat from Kylie. Uh, what standalone Star Wars book would you like to be made into an eight-hour show that would be based in the horror genre? Uh, there haven't been that many Star Wars books that are Star Wars horror books. Um, I mean, I I still liked Death Troopers. If you get rid of the Han stuff, it's like okay, this is a pretty solid horror movie. Um, I mean, honestly, going back to Phasma, if if you tweaked it a little bit, you could make that kind of a thriller esque show. It's well, it's it's more Mad Max than anything else. Yeah, but. I would call that action. But like it, nah, like Mad Max still feels like it's got some just kind of uh, horror elements to it. I, the Thrawn Ascendancy, like the next books in that trilogy, they could get weird. They could go find some really scary stuff. They certainly could. <laughs> um, but yeah, there just haven't been... Death Troopers and Red Harvest are the only real like Star Wars horror stories that have been told. I haven't read he- Red Harvest. Boomstick says that his palm is bruised from playing with the Hotas so much. I need to... I, like, I, I grip... Any game that I'm, like, concentrating really hard on, I grip the controller like it's... Oh, yeah, my hand will, like, me. <laughs> clamp up. And so, yeah, yeah I, I feel like I would break our Hotas if I played too much on it. Yeah, my hand, like seizes up whenever we play for too long which is every night all right 
Ooh, yeah, the brain words episode, brain mm-hmm. worms episode in Clone Wars. That one. That Any- definitely has some horror elements to it. That one's like very slithery uh, and gross. My goodness. What? He sh- he who shall not be named is finally asleep. Is doing well today. Only a couple of oh. He just moved his head. <laughs> Talking about me? He knows. Yeah, flip that like that for me. No stickers yet? Not yet. I'll let you know. There are a couple of flat pieces in here that are probably going to need them soon. So, you said you're not good with support ships and squadrons. Uh What... What do you think is the next... Is that going to be, like, the next thing that you try to get better at, or...? I'd like to, like, so... I feel it, like bomb, bombing runs in an actual bomber. Uh-huh. Yeah, would, well, I, I can fun. do that. Um, I, I've done... I'm not bad with bombers. I'm not bad with fighters. But right now, we have, like, one person who plays support in our squadron, Ashton. And I don't feel good about if we're going to be competing in this thing for five hours unless he wants to if which he is excellent at it and as long as he's having fun uh great but i don't want him to feel like he's stuck playing support for five hours yeah because like he doesn't get kills he gets assists he keeps us alive but i don't want him to feel like he's wrecking his kill death ratio because all he's doing is healing us Mm -hmm. especially if i'm going to be the idiot running in trying to blow up shield generators every single time do your job do your dog fights if you're in a starfighter or yeah i don't i don't know if i've even tried to fly the Y-Wing, but I feel like going on bombing runs would be pretty satisfying. It's fun. Because, like, I like to go fast, but I don't need to be going fast because I will crash and just uh, be pretty useless, most likely. No, I, I know how, weirdly, like, just the fact that I have been so into Starfighters and pilot stories for so long, it's like I know what to expect from all of them. The X-Wing books back in the day were making fun of the Y-Wing for being slow. So it's like you get in the Y-Wing and I'm like, I know this is going to be slow, but it's going to pack a punch. I know the A-Wing is going to go really fast, but it's uh, going to get torn apart. The Y-Wings and the TIE Bombers, aren't they harder to take down? Don't they have better yes. shields? They don't have shields. Well, the Y-Wing has shields, but they're they're just stronger in general. They have better holes, more health. Uh, the A-Wing will get taken out really fast. Um... But the the U-Wing is like, oh, it's a new ship that's only been around for four years. And I just don't know how it operates. Same with the TIE Reaper. It's just like, I don't know what to expect lore-wise from it, so I I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Hmm. But I just need to try it more. Have Ashton teach me his ways. Um, did you ever play Halo? Yeah. I played, like, the first... A couple people talk about Halo in the chat. I remember... God, this was in high school. I was at somebody's house with some friends, and they were playing Halo, and I, I gave it a try, but I just... I couldn't handle the... Again, using both toggle sticks to, like, move around. Mm-hmm. It's, it's too much for me. So I kept getting just like stuck in corners and caves and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, maybe video games aren't for me. No, I played Halo and then uh, got an Xbox because of that, uh, which was my second ever system. I had the GameCube, and I think I may have sold. Did you not have anything before the? I had GameCube? a Game Boy, 
like my friend down the street had every system ever so my parents were like go play with him <laughs> and i was like all right uh so yeah i didn't have a system until gamecube and then i remember i think i traded that at gamestop so i could get an xbox and then i got halo and kotor so that was fun what did you play on playstation jedi power battles (laughs) (laughs) i had a lot of games for the original playstation spyro that was my jam i remember spyro a little bit i never played it a lot me and elise played that a lot um Tekken 3 was my yeah, jam. I never really played fighting games except I, for Masters of Terra's Kasi. <laughs> I, 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 liked, I liked playing fighting games a lot, like Mortal Kombat, Tekken, all those were really fun. Street Fighter. <clears throat> uh, Alexa Davis, thank you for the super chat. On the topic of ghosts, I like the idea of dark ghost mall held to the campfire he died on died by mm. on tatooine but moves on after talking to luke post return of the jedi hmm. i like i like the way you stuck to the rules there because <laughs> it's like he's a dark ghost so he's basically not allowed to he can haunt but he can't he doesn't have like freedom but it would be interesting to see if a haunting spirit could find redemption that i like that as a setup i like that as a a a a a dead dark side user is a ghost haunting an area but they're still conscious like the grand inquisitor in the new uh star wars comic he knew who he was and where he was and what he was doing you'd think that he'd have room for personal growth even though he's dead that would be very interesting that's a cool setup hmm yeah i like that any any idea of like a dark dark side ghosty ghost i'm i'm down Aw, see you later, Ted Comment. Bye, Ted. Thanks for coming. John Booze, thank you for the super chat. Neither is likely true, but which would y'all prefer? Palpy being in Ray after she killed him, or Ben being in Ray after he healed her? Ben. No ghost for Benny. <laughs> ben. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of Palpatine. We're done with him. We He's- don't want to see or hear from it's time to move on Palpatine ever again I I do like the idea of Ray being able to communicate with Ben even though he's not a force ghost she's he's just kind of like in her head although that would be pro like problematic for her ever being able to find love <laughs> yeah because her first it would be kiss. hard to move on from that. Yeah. First. It's like that Black Mirror episode where, like, the guy's wife passes away, oh. and then he puts her in his head, mm-hmm. and she's, like, can communicate with him. She's like, were you just flirting <laughs> with that girl? Ugh. It'd be just like that. Yeah. It was, like, something Star Wars should do too. some Black Mirror episodes. <laughs> Uh, Cam Cam with another super chat. Thanks so much, Cam Cam. Have y'all seen the video where someone tries to skip prison and fall in order? No. I, I, I am curious if it's possible. What's that? So there's a part in uh, Fall in Order where you run into like one of those bounty hunting droids and it just tears you apart. But the first time I ever ran into one, I fought it. I thought it was friendly, and then it attacked me, but I fought it, and I almost got it killed, but then it got one hit on me, 
and I I went down, and then it takes you to like this whole prison thing. It's a whole you're supposed to be beaten in that moment. Uh, but I have always wondered if you could technically skip it, so I'll, I'm interested to check that out. Hmm. Like it. Guys, we've got 230 people watching right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Lego stream. Hit that like button if you want. <laughs> if you don't want to, that's cool too. It helps. It helps us out. What are these little pink ones for? They are like little guide pieces. I think I'm done with them, but. What's this? I don't know yet. <laughs> Ooh, what's it here? I have some stickers. <laughs> uh, put number four. Number four goes on that. Okay. <laughs> what are some of your favorite scary movies? I We watched The Witch the other night, and I don't think Alex was a fan of it. Didn't care for it. <laughs> it's, mm -mm. It's, it's a... It's an interesting movie. I'll say that. It's almost, well, it, it pretty much is a period piece. Oh, it's definitely a period piece. And it's like, it's not really my kind of horror thriller, but it, it had some, I liked the tense moments towards the beginning, the beginning and the middle, and then the end was just weird. But favorite spooky movies? Um, the Descent. Cabin in the Woods. The Descent is one, I, I know you're not crazy about that one, but that's just, I saw that one in theaters, had no idea what I was getting into. I knew it was like, okay, some friends go spelunking, and they run into like these monster things, but man, the way they build the tension in that movie is so good, and by the time you finally are in the thick of it with the monsters, you're like, just out of your mind terrified or at least i was <laughs> and like i i saw that in the theater with uh james who he really likes horror movies but like i've never seen him so stressed out mm -hmm. <laughs> at a movie i i remember watching it with you like early on when we started dating and i was like this isn't scary it's so scary you're but then you're just wrong i i watched it again years later and i was like okay it's kind of scary <laughs> I'm a little bit picky when it comes to spooky movies. I like The Conjuring a lot. Yes, Conjuring is is like maybe the best new horror series of movies to come in my opinion. I like ghost stories. I like paranormal stuff. Me too. I don't like slashers or torture porn. Or any of that stuff like I don't like anything that I'm like yeah this could happen <laughs> not I'm not on board I don't want to think about that uh, here do five on that I'm reading some other movies in the chat Jeepers Creepers I've never seen that I think I might like it um, hereditary that I, one was good uh, nope <laughs> that one was that one really good haunts me insidious is very good insidious was good uh man hereditary is like the witch gave me hereditary vibes which just hereditary no was so effed up thank you like the whole time i was like whoa whoa but that's the kind of stuff i dig so i liked it Um, the Paranormal Activities movies I, I really like. like. I, I kind of want to rewatch some of those because they're not long. They're pretty straightforward ghost movies. <laughs> Favorite horror, the holiday special. <laughs> Oh, Midsummer! I tried to watch that last year, or maybe, maybe it wasn't last. Whenever it came out, shortly after, I tried to watch it, 
I started it. Maybe I was just too distracted, but I, I, Look at all these pieces. I stopped like 30 minutes in because I was like, I don't know about this. I'm not really in the mood, but maybe I'll give it another shot. The amount of extra pieces in this set is really stressing me out. I'm like, I know I missed something. Candyman, that's uh, that's one that I have on my list to watch this year. Candyman and Hellraiser, I've never seen. So I really want to watch those. Have you talked to Cabin in the Woods yet? I like Cabin in the Woods. It's not, I wouldn't even really consider that a horror movie almost. I would, It's but it's fun. Yeah. It's just, it's it has enough comedy in it to make it not so spooky. A good horror comedy is always something I'm down for. Yeah. Something to... Oh, oh, I like uh, 28 Days Later. I like 28 Weeks Later, 30 Days of Night. Monster movies I tend to be on board with. I feel like Signs was a good one. Kind of an underrated one. I don't know that I'd consider that a horror movie. I didn't think that was really? scary at all. It has some very intense moments. I thought it was kind of spooky. Not spooky, but, like, just tense. People always, like, reference that shot of, like, Joaquin Phoenix is watching the TV and then, like, the alien walks out and he, like, gasps and gets all scared. And I'm just like, this is, I don't know, aliens don't scare me. You say that now. I say that now. <laughs> I've been <laughs> in the thick of it with Star Wars my whole life. <laughs> aliens aren't scary, they're friendly. And they can be killed by water. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fun. We were talking about signs yesterday when me and Mark from the Templin Institute were playing uh, squadrons. And we were talking about how we both can't help ourselves and we have to go, like, suicide run on a capital ship. And it's just, like, felt wrong not to swing. That's, <laughs> that's from signs. Are we going to try to finish this? Yeah. I said that. Okay. Well, it's <laughs> 7.45. Okay. I didn't know how long you wanted to stream till. I have to pee. You can go pee whenever you want. <laughs> We've only got one and three quarters of a bag left. Uh, Rainman says, Freddy or Jason, to me... Uh, I think Freddy Krueger is... I don't think I've ever seen a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Really? It's. I think he's just like a cool idea for a character, for a horror character, but I haven't seen them in a really long time, so my my opinion might change if I were to rewatch them, but I'm going to go. I've seen some Jason movies, or Friday the 13th movies, but... Be right back. I will, like, we haven't talked about TV series, but I liked... I'm not supposed to say be right back, right? Oh, no! That's oh, Scream. I do like Scream. Scream rule. <laughs> I think Scream is awesome. Uh, Scream is a great horror movie. And I liked Scream 2. I haven't seen 3. Uh, 4 was good. But Scream is a franchise I can get behind. That's like the one slasher I like. Uh, but I really liked The Haunting of Hill House last year. again Or two years ago? Again, ghost movies, I'm fine with. I don't mind ghosts and paranormal stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. Uh, I'm so excited that Rahul Cooley is in it, who is a wonderful actor in iZombie. Seen him on bunch of internet content that he's just an all-around good dude <laughs> john booze you love horror explained well don't get used to it <laughs> maybe molly will do I, I told molly that 
maybe on her Twitch channel we could do like uh, some horror movie discussions. I, I would happily talk about The Witch and how much I didn't like it. Um, like, I would watch horror movies for content. I don't have any problem watching horror movies. It's just not, like, my first choice. I definitely don't like them as much as some people. But I do like the when people analyze horror movies and like how similar the genre is to comedy and the fact that it's like both comedy and horror it's like about ratcheting up tension and then you get the release of that tension through a scare or a laugh i think that's very very interesting put pants on Did you get cold yeah. She said she was hot at the start. I Did you turn the AC off too? No. It just, just, just happened to go off. It heard. Just happened no, to go off. I didn't touch the AC. It heard me say I was cold and it listened. Uh huh. Our AC is not that smart. <laughs> John Boo said, Love Horror Explained. <laughs> uh,. I told I saw that and I told them not to get used to it. <laughs> well, we talked about on my Twitch channel. I said exactly that. I've already said all this. You missed okay. a lot while you were away. <laughs> you don't need me, obviously. But I did. I did say that I would watch horror movies with you if it were for that purpose. Who wants to see us talk about horror movies that I really like and makes Alex very uncomfortable? <laughs> well, if you phrase it that way. <laughs> Me, says John News. <laughs> Jeff Van Dam, off topic, Molly's hair looks great. Thank you. I, s I agree. Thank you. I'm trying to grow it back out. It's, it's almost to the point where I can put it all up in a ponytail. I can show you my undercut, though. It was straight bald not that long ago. It's like a couple weeks ago, it was just, there's nothing there. It, it's so nice to not have hair on the back of your neck. But like, when it gets longer, I can put it up and then my best friend cuts my hair and I, I can get her to like shave some designs or something in the hair back there. I keep offering to do that and Molly won't let me. Who wants to see me shave shapes into Molly's head that'll make her very uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I let you shave that part once and i did a great job no prove it i have a picture somewhere <laughs> that i sent gwen because i was like look what alex did i bet she said he did an adequate job because she's nice she's a nice person <laughs> yeah my hair used to be really long like a couple years ago it was like down to mid back maybe I miss it. I don't miss almost choking myself in the middle of the night, though. Like, I'd have to put it all up in a bun, or else it would just get wrapped around my neck. That sounds like a Final Destination scene oh. of some sort. This beer is good, but it doesn't taste... October-y enough. Because it doesn't taste like pumpkin. Well, no, they, there are Oktoberfest beers that are, like, much more spiced and, and malty, but this one just tastes like a regular beer. Do better, Sam Adams. Elijah Neal, we need beer explained. Beer. I'm not a good candidate for that. Beer good. <laughs> this is all good. This is all good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sticker time. Put numbers one. Two of these go on like the fronts here. Wait, two of the these? See that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, and then... Uh, and the black side should be, yeah, like that, like that, yeah. And then you're gonna do the same thing with uh, number three. Talk about something while I do stickers. I'm trying to read the chat. <laughs> Invis, am I going full beard? No, I already did that once and that's done. Keeping the mustache for a while. I don't know how long. I feel like I put six months of work into it so it should stick around for at least a week. Um, you gotta do bigs again on the stream. Yeah, I think I will. Do you say do another one or a three? Three. On this one? No. Wait. I said do both threes on these. Hold on. What's the difference? They look different. Oh, okay, I see. Did I do one wrong? You sure did. I thought you were- I can peel it off. Miss Perfect Sticker. Hold on, don't, 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 don't. I'm gonna see if it's gonna go on a similar piece. Cause it's probably perfectly fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So these are both threes? Those are both threes. Okay. And I guess there was an extra one of those in there. Same, just on the end here? Yep. Don't let your phone distract you. That's what messed you up last time. Is it? I don't know. I think you gave me bad instructions. Uh, and this says the mustache will stay until you say it's got to go. It's got to go. Is that how that happens? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Jedi Mullet 77, thanks so much for the super chat. Next month will be three years of growing my mullet. And yes, the oh, force is strong with it. <laughs> I love it. Love a good mullet. We stand a mullet. Really? Should I start sure. mine out? Go ahead. I don't believe you. I don't think you could grow, you could grow a mullet. You remember how hair, long my hair used to be when you first met me? It was pretty long. Mm -hmm. If I just cut the front of it and left the back of it, it's definitely gotten long in the back. I'll shave it in your sleep. That's what I thought. <laughs> Love a mullet unless it's on me. You you do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And you'll shave it in my sleep. One day I'm going to wake up without a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> that will be your own doing. I'm just going to trim this a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Because that happened about six weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Mullet plus stash combo. Ooh, yeah. That would be like, it would be funny to do that one time. And like, if you were planning on seeing someone that you haven't seen all throughout quarantine. <laughs> Although people see us online, so I guess that would spoil it, but. Yeah. I appear to be missing a piece. So that probably means I messed up somewhere. Uh-oh. I can fix it, but... Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Yeah, Lindsey Brown says, I'm saying that you can do it. I'm also just letting you know that I'll shave it off. <laughs> Great way to embarrass your children in the future, yes. <laughs> or my friend's children. My best friend is about to have a baby. She's due November 4th. It's so bizarre. 
that I won't be able to be there. No one can be there except for her husband. It's very frustrating. Man, these... Is that right? That didn't look right. I think that's right. Some of these are uh, hard to figure out. Well, there's a book with instructions. I'm looking right at them. <laughs> Can't be that hard. It's a little hard. Well, so when was I supposed to do that? Missed some stuff. Rain Man says YouTube's moderating algorithm is weird AF. How is how is it weird? All right, one bag to go. Ooh. Oh, that yeah, that is true. It it does hold some things for review that you're like, "What?" Brian, one of my co-hosts on A Certain Point of View, is currently watching Hill House. And he Hill just, House was great. He said, I'm watching Hill House and I just got scared out of my mind. I screamed, LOL. I, asked I screamed at least one time. I can remember off the top of my head one time that that show made me scream. So that probably means that I screamed other times. Oh, I know. I think I know which episode he's talking about. It, was it the... I don't want to eat. <laughs> it's episode eight. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Because that's what thought, that's what popped into my head. The what, the car? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Screw that. No, I, that's so, that's so good. No, I liked it. I literally cannot wait for Bly Manor. I've been thinking about it ever since I found out it was a thing. And it's coming out on Friday. I'm excited to watch that. Like, I will binge that with you. Yes, 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 yes. Weirdly, yeah, like, well, I was about to say I like horror TV shows more than horror movies, but I'm not the biggest American Horror Story fan. <sighs> I know you love it to death. I, I like some so seasons, much. and some season I'm just like, mm-mm, can't do it. I love it so much. Ooh, it's got that uncomfortable factor right. that, that I think doesn't appeal to you. Uh, our friend Zach is a big horror fan. Not Blunders, not Blunderdome Zach, a different Zach. Um, he is currently watching through Roanoke. And he just got to like the twist part. I did like Roanoke. Uh, yeah, and he was he was talking to me about how crazy it was. Roanoke was really good. I'm currently watching through Coven because I do that every year around Halloween. I'll probably try to watch the Hotel also, just because I can blow through. Do not through, like Hotel. Blow through those. Coven's fine. Two is the the insane asylum. Mm -hmm. uh, two is maybe the one that is feels the most creepy to me. Th that's yeah, it's because it's a little too real. Yeah. So is cult. Haven't cult. seen cult. Cult because I knew I knew off the bat I was like I'm not gonna like that one. Cult was kind of hard to watch just because of how. Like relevant rele yeah exactly <laughs> how relevant it was and still is um apocalypse was kind of weird 
that one kind of lost my interest a little bit. I've seen the teases for the newest season. I don't know what it's about, but the teases so far have been like ocean related. So maybe... I liked I liked the last year. Oh the, yeah, the eighties one. The eighties one in the cabin. I liked that or, one. Or the camp, whatever it was. That one was really good. <laughs> Nikki Nustar New Star says, "Why are you talking about horror?" <laughs> Someone just... brought it up. I'm a I'm a fan of the spooks. What can I say? It is Spooktober. Spooktober. We're talking about horror because there's no Star Wars to talk about. We'll be talking about the Mandalorian a lot when it comes out, I promise. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that lines up well because Halloween is the day after the first episode airs and then from then on out it can just be all all Mando all the time. Mando. I listen to a fun uh well, first of all there's those uh lo-fi remixes of like Star Wars songs that that kind of got passed around this week. Mm -hmm. uh, which I really enjoyed them. And then I started getting like Spotify recommended music after that. So I listened to like some medieval versions of Star Wars songs, but one of them was the Mandalorian theme and it was, Ooh. it was good. I liked it. How do they, what do they do to make them sound medieval? I Just guess like they play them on lutes and stuff. I, like on harpsichords? There's a recorder. I don't know. <laughs> well, they already use a recorder for the Oh Mando. yeah, that's true. <laughs> It was it was the exact same thing. <laughs> Have we seen the Lego Star Wars leaks? Uh, <laughs> the only one I've seen is the the Baby Yoda one. That's all I care about. Oh wait, are they like merch leaks or uh, game leaks? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either because we don't we don't follow leaks of any kind. But no, but like so many people sent me pictures <laughs> of the Baby Yoda Lego set, so I couldn't avoid it. I was like, "Cool, thanks." No worries, uh, Nikki, you didn't interrupt anything. We were just <laughs> chit-chatting along. Elijah Neal says, it would be fun if we renamed this stream Building Hello Greedo's Face. <laughs> Damn it. I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> Building Hello Greedo. He's coming along just fine. Pretty soon he'll be ready to make a snarky video about <laughs> real fans. And by snarky, I mean amazing. I haven't watched that one yet. He I want to. He puts out great content. <laughs> he says what we're all thinking, basically. But he also wears a mask. So. I still, anytime we hang out with him, I get so tickled. <laughs> So tickled when we when we we're like when we take pictures with him but hide his face oh. in creative ways that's like my favorite thing to do <laughs> yeah we were at the can't the star wars scum and villainy restaurant bar thing in hollywood and we were sitting in a booth and we took a picture and we all just like held up our drinks to like do a cheers in front of his face just in front of his face so that you couldn't see it in the picture he is a very nice dude. That's the, there's like normally one or two times a year where there would have been two times this year where all the Star Wars YouTubers like would have gotten, been able to hang out. We go to like EA Play, we usually get to hang out and then Star Wars Celebration obviously would have happened and like really miss all those people. We talk online still, but. Have you gotten to play Squadrons with him yet? 
Uh, no, but I DM'd him yesterday, and we we set up just a hey, let's play next week sometime, and we'll probably both stream it. So cool. Greedo and I will squat up. Yes, Brandon Hancock, we have seen his face. It looks like what's underneath this. It's all colorful, and it's made out of Lego bricks. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Jedi Mullet 77, thank you for the super chat. What happened to Grievous's ship, the Solus One, after Revenge of the Sith, or as I call it, Grievous's Cadillac? I looked that up somewhere because someone asked me that. I think, I think Obi Wan took it. He took Luke and flew away from the Tantive Three in the Solus One. I think he took it and sold it somewhere and then booked passage to Tatooine like he was trying to hide his tracks. <laughs> um, I think Reefton changed the title. <laughs> or was it Reefton or Rain Man? I don't know. Let me see. The mods, they're too powerful. <laughs> That's funny, though. I think it was Reefton. Or maybe they they probably I'm sure they could did it aspire. together. Team effort, yay! Okay, so now the title of the stream is... Oh, wait, no, it just changed again. Let me refresh. Oh, wait, well, now it says... It it might just be a weird thing that... It it still says Lego Stormtrooper, but a second ago it said the other one. It, it, It might just be a YouTube thing refreshing itself, like... Yeah, He'll agree to his face live. What story are you looking forward to reading from a certain point of view strikes back? Hmm. Well, they they sure hyped up the wedge one for pilot fans. <laughs> um the Do you, have you not gotten enough pilot look, action? With it I I like what I like. <laughs> And uh, the editor at Del Rey said that Jason Fry, who wrote for Wedge in uh, the first From a Certain Point of View, uh, but Tom, the editor at Del Rey, said that Jason Fry wrote like a love letter to the Michael Stackpole, Aaron Alston books. And that piques my interest. Okay, Molly, you're up. All right, the title works now. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Put the rest of these stickers on those. Which one? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, they're all the same thing. (laughs) I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and get some squash and zucchini so I can make that sausage dish. Although we still have plenty of chicken to make tacos. The new LEGO Star Wars set leaks are the Imperial Shuttle, X-Wing, another X-Wing, TIE Fighter, AT-AT versus Bantha Micro Fighter. And, oh, whoa. And for the next UCS is a Republic gunship. Oh, damn. What? That's going to be big. I, now I'm like, let me see this. A UCS Republic gunship? That's got to be uh Jeez. Where, Lego, where are we supposed to put these? I know. In, what in are you house? doing to me? We're going to have to buy more of these well, IKEA shelves. I don't immediately. Yeah, we're just going to like keep layering. I don't immediately see it, so I'll look for it later. But the gunship. Did you ever answer what happened to the Solus one? Yeah. Okay. To to my to the best of my abilities, I would look it up on Wikipedia because I'm probably wrong, missing some details, but <laughs> not wrong, missing details. I said it can be either or. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, what day is life day? Isn't that... Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I don't know. I thought it was Christmas, but no. It, it, the, the holiday special came out on, like, November 23rd or something. It, it It's someday in November, technically. Hmm. Um, but I always consider it like a, a Christmas thing. Yeah. I keep forgetting we're getting a new holiday special this year. Putting it on Lego, like in the Lego universe is such a smart idea. It is, but I, I still kind of wish it was like real actors. Sure. <laughs> um, but like in squadrons... And this is something we've known since July, uh, but like they reference the Lego universe. They reference the Freemaker adventures in Squadrons. So it's like the Lego universe is not necessarily not canon. So. Not necessarily not canon. Yeah. <laughs> I think some people try to separate the two, and it's like, well. They're referencing it in more, quote, serious materials, so I wouldn't write it off completely. Oh, Ted Common is back with uh, another super chat. Thanks so much. Oh, I forgot dumb trivia. In the <laughs> Robot Chicken Star Wars special, mm -hmm. in the This Deal is Getting Worse sketch, what name does Vader tell Lando oh. he is to refer to himself? Sorry, uh, gotta go. The debate is tonight. Cindy? popped into my head first he keeps giving he gives him like clown shoes and a <laughs> unicycle and and you must refer to yourself as uh i i can't remember at all <laughs> i don't know why the name cindy popped into my head but it did we should rewatch those i know they're so good mary mary it was mary my lord my lord So I gotta go to the debate is tonight. Yeah, the um, vice vice president, president debate. debate is tonight, which honestly will probably more be more informative than <laughs> the presidential debate. I mean, you set the bar so high, Molly. <laughs> uh, Rod Film says he's late. How much longer do we plan on being live? Well, not long. Not long. We're almost done with this bad boy. We've been going for a little over an hour. I've no, got, we've been going since what six thirty? We've got this much left. The mouth. <laughs> it it looks like a death trooper helmet right now. We could just leave it and like put Ooh. some red pieces down here, but like. Did you hear that? No. I thought I heard something downstairs. Monsters. Do you want to go investigate? <laughs> Yeah, because you know it's not a monster. Well, it is a monster of a type. It's Hilo. What's he doing? We're getting to, like we're getting to a point where I trust him more and more, but he's still a puppy. Technically, that's what our vet keeps telling us, and that he's still gonna act kind of crazy for another year and a half. Which he is currently uh, about a year and a half old, so that works out, I guess. Trust goes both ways. I think he trusts us, Elijah. No worries, Rod Films. <laughs> you can always listen to us while you're doing homework uh, on the replay. We got to figure out what we're building next. I, I might just build the the Lego NES because we have that. I want to get a new Star Wars set. I'd love to get the new Cantina. Maybe I'll see if I can find that somewhere. Is he doing anything? He had one of my sweaters. <laughs> Did he rip it up? No. Did he I... just take it downstairs? Yeah. He was just dragging it around. He just wanted your scent. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 
Alex maybe finally play Lego Star Wars 3 for Floof? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Possibly? I don't know that he's ever going to play anything other than Squadrons. Uh, give me a little, Give me more than a week to get over my obsession. No, it's... What I, what I want to play with him are spooky games. I said I would do that. And so we're going to try to get Phasmophobia set up on VR. We might be able to work it to where we can both play in VR at the same time together. I think we can do that. So I, that's something I want to try to do this weekend. Either late Friday night or Saturday Saturday is uh, Operation Ace. That's right. Well, maybe after that or Sunday during the day. There's only so many spooky days <laughs> in October. There's 31, I think. Right? Yes, <laughs> but we're on day seven. We're a week in. How many weekends are there? We got this weekend, next weekend, the weekend after that, and then, okay, so we've got four more Saturdays. And four more Fridays. And three more Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> so plenty of time. I guess. I'll see you later. Brandon Hancock says he's got to go. Dinner is ready. We need to produce Damon merch. What would that look like? Though? I don't know. Yeah, now we're... We're streamers, too. I don't know what. We got to find catchphrases. <laughs> yeah, my uh, check out our emotes on Twitch. Just sub subscribe to us on Twitch, and our emotes can be our merch. <laughs> and you can use those emotes on any other Twitch channel. Just blow up their chat with our emotes. And my face. <laughs> Which Lego helmet is the best in our opinions? Let me finish this one. Let me finish this one and I'll answer that. Uh, I feel like. I think the Tide Pilot is my favorite just because it's a little. Uh, what oh. are these called? The tubes? Yeah, the tubes. Uh, I'll finish this one. We'll put them all side by side, and I will uh, pass my judgment. I did think that building the TIE pilot tubes was a, a cool touch. Hey, look at me catching something dumb I did. Fixed it. Look at me handling Legos and not breaking them. I'm still scared. I'm just... Wait. <laughs> Reton said, careful, Molly. <laughs> Is that right? I think I got... I think they sent me a wrong piece. Because... That's not symmetrical, that, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. They're not all symmetrical. Nope, it's supposed to be symmetrical. Wait, what's not symmetrical? You see oh. those pieces? Did you put one on upside down? No, that's not how that works. Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I understand why you wouldn't trust me, but... <laughs> I mean, it's fine. No one's going to notice that. But but you'll always know. I'll know. That it's wrong. I'll know. <laughs> oh, 
Almost there. Almost there. Never heard of Lego putting in the wrong pieces? Um, it's it, happened it, to we, us. We've built enough sets that, like, we had to, when we got the Star Destroyer, like, we had to write them and get them to sit. They missed a whole bag. Uh, so we had to get them to send that bag out. Which, I mean, Lego is really cool about customer service. They'll, if you think you're missing a piece, they'll send it to you. Yeah, it wasn't an issue, but... It definitely like I looked all over the place and definitely didn't have that did we check out the new Clone Wars Funko Pops I yeah I think so I pre-ordered some of them Don't know where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> there, they're all done. Can you, I don't think they can see I'll, them. I'll, I'll the... move the camera down a little. Hide your face. Does it work? Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, no, it, it's fine. You can, <laughs> the tie pilot was fun. I, I think Boba Fett, Boba Fett had the most variety to it. It wasn't all just one color. <laughs> and you can do this. Yep. I like Boba Fett the most. I like the tie pilot. I think that's a good one too. But there you go. We did it. We built all the helmets. I hope they do more. I liked them. I wouldn't mind having, like, we could just line the oh, top of the shelf. Look who's here look right who's on time. Here. Did you eat my sweater? Mm. <laughs> all right. Okay. We did it. We did it. <laughs> you going to repeat everything I say? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, that's going to do it for our Lego stream tonight, guys. If you feel like watching me play Fall Guys, I'm going to stream it in about... 30 minutes. 30 minutes over on twitch.tv slash Damon. And if you feel like watching me play Squadrons, you can do that maybe tomorrow, but more likely on Friday. Yeah, you're going to play tonight, but you're not streaming. Yeah, I'm just going to... We're going to practice for Operation Ace. We're just going to... And one of our friends just had a big test and is uh, relaxing tonight, so that's what we'll be doing. But thank you all for watching and hanging out. <laughs> Evo says thank you. Thank you for all the super chats and the support, and may the force be with you. Bye, guys. <laughs>